Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, welcome back to the podcast. You like that? That's actually angry, man. Like I'm announcing uh, the monster trucks this Sunday. <laughs> so I, I was going to get away from Alchemy Pay for a bit. There are too many partnerships to keep up with. And if I can't do them current or at least in a timely manner, then what's the point? Everybody has Google. Watching me do a video with all of the information you already have is not a lot of fun unless you just love the sound of my voice. If that's the case, call me. Just pick up the phone and call me because I can talk your ears off for just days and I can talk about anything. I have a very small uh, Twitter channel. I, I don't tweet much, so I'm not surprised. And again, as I tend to be more realistic in my modeling, there is very little entertainment value. I get it. But on the vault, very small Twitter channel I do have, I've been getting pinged off and on to do more Alchemy Pay videos. So I'm going to do this one, then probably put it to bed for a time unless something really cool happens. If you are an ACH kind of person and you visit their Reddit often, want to have some fun, post this video and watch the explosions in the comments. I've already been down this path with not one, but two digital pay rails, so I know the method and I can predict the future over the lifetime that I am covering the tokens. I'm very much a pragmatist. I deal with reality and I make my investing decisions from that reality. The great thing about being a pragmatist is that as the situation changes, so do your perceptions. For those who are new to the podcast, thank you, by the way. Thank you for joining us. I am not this guy. I'm not, what? what is that, the diamond hands? Yeah, I'm not that guy I, at all. I have a short-term wallet and a long-term wallet. I am not married to anything in my short term, and I couldn't tell you the price of the tokens in my long term. doesn't matter. They are long term. So if they don't just explode for no reason whatsoever, I rarely look at them. And, you know, if they do absolutely explode for no reason, I am probably looking for the sell button. I don't like volatility, and I definitely don't like it in my long terms. If they dip a bit, I don't care. I know where they should be. If they explode, odds are good that they are overvalued by a lot. And I will realize profits and I'll buy them back when they settle down. But let me get back to the reporting method and proof that I can tell the future. Normally, I would spend a good six weeks getting to know everybody. I would do two or three videos a week about the project because if I am reporting on it, I own it. It's how it works for me. I don't tell you how to spend your money. I tell you how I spend my money. And currently, I do have quite a bit of ACH. But we would start with a white paper. I would cherry pick the parts I like. I would discuss the parts that I don't like and why I don't like them. I would just be a reasonable sort of crypto reporter. Very vanilla. Described in one word, it would probably be unobjectionable. But as I have already discussed ACH a time or two, I figure it's okay to just hit the later stuff earlier because I think uh, some people need to hear it. You won't like it, but you need to hear it. If you were really vested in the podcasts, if you were the type that just watched all of our videos, can't wait for the next ACH, it would hit you a lot harder and be a much deeper betrayal when I start laying down some of the fundamental truths as I see them. So I thought we could just skip all that and get to it. As a disclaimer, I am an opinion editorial channel. Everything I tell you is opinion. That's effectively true for all crypto channels, man. We are all opinion. Nobody can predict the future. I don't care what they tell you. ACH, Alchemy Pay. It's going to be a long road. I mean a long road. Price action. Doesn't matter for this one right now at all. It is still a baby, and it hasn't even learned to walk yet. It's going to see a lot of volatility over the coming months and deep into next year because there is a great deal of liquidity available. It has to have the liquidity. That's how Alchemy Pay works, and that's how it grows organically and sustainably. With no liquidity, there will be no growth. With liquidity, there will be volatility in the price action. Welcome to Alchemy Pay. 
when you have a total supply of ten billion, which you you, you need it. You need it on this one. The price is going to be shaky. Every pump is not a moon never coming back by that Lambo. And every dip is not a runaway, runaway paper hands and whales are wrecking it. It's called market variance. Your your Reddit will light up. Comments will be at f- will be friendly at first and more aggressive as the conversation degenerates. There will be calls upon calls for more listings because the only reason it isn't mooning is because it's not on Binance or Gemini or any particular exchange. Anyone who dares to sell is the reason the price is falling and you just have to keep buying and believing. That's the way crypto works and everyone knows it. There's a cycle to these things. And they have played out before, and they will again with the next one. There's a caveat on this one, though, little one. Here's where Alchemy Pay is unique. They are, for such a new token, man, for something that's just really popping, they are crushing it with the partnerships. I mean, so many, so often. It is giving a unique visibility to Alchemy Pay, and it's really spinning up the Moon Boys. Crypto is weird in that when there's news, speculators run wild, prices take off when Lambo. But that isn't happening with Alchemy Pay. And it's not going to happen with Alchemy Pay because it is not a product token. It's a pay rail token. And for a pay rail to increase organic growth, it has to be used. Partnerships are great. They are fantastic. It shows that they will be used. But announcing a partnership and implementing with said partner are wildly different things, and they have longer timelines. It isn't the flick of a switch. It is months of coding and compliance to make them work together. In Alchemy's case, it is purchasing liquidity for the implementation of said partnership. Capital has to move, and like it or not, it doesn't move quickly. You guys are in a good product. Alchemy, folks, you're you're in a good product. It's a good idea, but it's not a perfect one. I have some serious issues with it. I've never written, I've never pretended I didn't say it. All right. We have philosophical differences. Doesn't mean I won't profit on it. And I will. It just means that I won't use it personally until they come clean with the data harvesting. Stand by it. And just say, we do it because of X, Y, and Z. That's why we do it. But not mention it at all in your AMAs and your press releases. I feel it's disingenuous to your investors because it is so very relevant to your products. But, folks, you know what? You guys are in for a very interesting road. And I can say that from personal experience because I have been here before. I did it with AMP, I did it with Cody, I'm doing it with ACH, and I will do it with whomever is next if they have a good product. Uh, If they don't, it'll be a one and done. Your community is growing, and with it is going to come an army of experts who know every damn thing that is about to happen, like I'm doing right now, and their advice will always be in their best interest. Just please keep that in mind. You're on the radar of the theater the theater technical analysis folks now. So there will be a lot more of that coming your way and they will probably be ending up with, I'm going to say they're going to call it 40 cents by the end of the year. Just look at the partnerships that that's probably where, where they'll go. Uh, they aren't the type to watch my video. So if you see one and they call 40 cents, please let me know so I can give you a shout out and thanks for the catch. Cause I don't watch their videos either. I personally considered Alchemy Pay, I'm, I consider it a little bit overvalued right now. Not critically, but somewhat. So I'm not buying. But if it gets to where it should be, I will certainly load up. So there, by request. There's your your daily uh, Alchemy Pay by the podcast, as requested on the Twitter. And I told you that you wouldn't like it. But again, if you do want to have some fun, <laughs> just... Take my word on this one. Post it on the ACH Reddit and just watch the sparks. It will be the same comments. He doesn't know. He doesn't get it. You just got to hold, man. So, look, guys, until next time, please be safe and please be smart with your money. That's it. Cheers.